In the last video, we configured our Micro E50's 2080-RTD2, and we did scaling in both Fahrenheit and Celsius. And in the video, I said I was going to go ahead and show you how to do it in structured text also, but the video was getting a little long. But I wanted to use this as an opportunity to show you how you can clean up your code a lot of time if you consider using structured text in these situations. Here is our conversion, and I'm not going to go really in depth through it because we have a video on it already, and I'll stick it at the end of this one. But here's our raw data coming from our RTD simulator, and we're converting it to a real number. And then we're going to subtract this 2700 value, which puts it into Celsius times 10. So then we divide it by 2, and then we multiplied it. But one, you see all this scrolling happening and all this craziness. I think this is a perfect example how we could clean this up with structured text. So let's go ahead and disconnect and right click programs, add structured text. And I'm just going to leave that as program two. And we're going to do the same thing in structured text. So we have our raw value here, and I'm just going to right click and copy it because I'm going to need it in a second. And we're going to open up Pro 2, and we need to do an any to real. We're going to put that raw value into it. So this gives us our value in a real number. And the first thing we need to do is subtract 2700 from it. So I'm going to subtract 2700. 0. And yes, I realize I need something on the left side here, but I'm just talking us through it just like we would see it in ladder. And so the next thing we did is we divided it by 10. Now be careful your parentheses because order of operation is going to be different in ladder compared to what we would normally see. What is that? Pot, 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 pot this? I can't even remember it, but yeah, whatever. Parentheses, multiplication. Oh, somebody can put it down in the comments. You know what I'm talking about. In ladder logic's case, it is just going to execute left to right. But in the case of structured text, we can put parentheses around things. So we need to do this first. So I'm going to put parentheses around it. And then we're going to divide by 10. Now, arguably, and actually, I think I am going to do this here. This is actually our value in Celsius. Actually, I need to put dot zero at the end of that. And then most often I forget is we need a semicolon. And let's just call that RTD underscore C space. And then I'm going to put a colon equals space. And so this is going to give us our temperature in Celsius. So let's right click RTDC variable selector. And I want its data type to be a real. We'll click OK. All right, now we want to take this and go ahead and take it to Fahrenheit also. And that's what this last part here was doing, because really we got it to here. And then we multiply by 1.8 and we added 32. And that's the conversion from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So we're going to just hit the Enter key on this. And we'll do this one the way you typically would type it in structured text. And I would put RTD underscore F and then colon equals. And we don't need any of that above because we already have it here as RTDF. So RTDC times. 1.8 plus 32. And remember, that's 32.0. Since we're dealing with reals, we learned in the last video, we've got to stick with reals all the way through. And then I always forget that semicolon at the end. And a lot of people ask me about the spacing. I do like spaces in these. They're not required, but I do think it kind of cleans it up a little bit. But yeah, let's go ahead and download that. And if you need any help downloading your program or you're like, I don't even know how you got that RTD configured, Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We have videos on all that. And we have an unplanned learning opportunity because I have forgotten something. It says, unable to continue download due to build errors. All right, I'm going to click the OK button. And oops, I forgot to create my tag. It's RTDF. All I'm going to do is double click on it. Right click variable selector. It already fills it in for me. And it will be a real because we did want that decimal on it. And now we'll try the download button. And it did download that time. So now let's compare our values. Now we could simply go over here and open up our variables. But another way we can do it is right click, add to spy list, 
And there is our Fahrenheit temperature of 1,000. If we right-click here, we can add it to the spy list. And there is our 538 degrees Celsius. And this is the same as going view and watch in Studio 5000. This is one of those good examples of where structured text probably is more favorable. And I did promise you some troubleshooting tips on that RTD. And so I've created a playlist here with it and some other helpful tips.